Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, four rectangles fully confined in a bigger rectangle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 128 uh, centimeters square. The area of this uh, green uh, rectangle is uh, 40 centimeter square and the area of this uh, purple rectangle is 80 centimeter square and furthermore this uh, upper horizontal uh, distance is 18 centimeter whereas this uh, horizontal uh, distance uh, at the lower end uh, is uh, 14 centimeter and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle that is represented by x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we are dealing with this uh, challenging kind of problem, so we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to partition uh, this uh, yellow rectangle, as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now this uh, yellow rectangle consists of this uh, purple rectangle along with this uh, part of this uh, yellow rectangle. And we know the area of this uh, purple rectangle is 80 centimeters square. So therefore, uh, this area has got to be 80 centimeters square as well. And we know that this whole area is 128 centimeters square. And this area is uh, 80. So therefore, uh, this uh, part of this uh, yellow rectangle area is going to be 128 minus 80. And if we subtract this thing, that is going to give us uh, 48 uh, centimeters square. So thus we have partitioned this uh, yellow rectangle into two parts. First one is this uh, purple rectangle and this other one is a smaller yellow rectangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, horizontal distance for this uh, purple, green and blue rectangles is 14 centimeter. So therefore by symmetry this uh, horizontal distance for purple, green and blue rectangle is going to be 14 centimeter as well. If this length is 14 centimeter, so therefore this length has got to be 14 centimeter as well. And now we can see that this whole distance from here to here is 18 centimeter and uh, this uh, distance uh, is uh, 14 centimeter so therefore uh, this uh, tiny distance uh, has got to be 18 minus 14 is going to give us uh, 4 centimeter and now let's focus on this uh, yellow rectangle and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times width and in our case our length is 4 and our area is 48. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula area is 48 equal to length is 4 and I'm going to represent width by W and now let's divide both sides by 4 this is a gone so our width turns out to be equal to 12 centimeter. So the side lengths of this uh, yellow rectangle turns out to be 4 and 12 centimeter. And now we know that this uh, vertical length is 12 centimeter. So therefore on this side this vertical length is going to be 12 centimeter as well. And now in this next step uh, let's focus on this uh, big shaded rectangle that uh, consists of the areas of uh, these uh, three rectangles. So if we add uh, these one, th that is going to give us x plus uh, 120. And we know that the side lengths of this uh, shaded uh, rectangles are uh, 14 and uh, 12 centimeters respectively. And now let's recall this uh, area of rectangle formula once again. Area equals to length uh, times the uh, width. And in our case, our length is 14 and our width is 12. And the total area in this rectangle is uh, x plus 120. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So area is x plus 120 equals to, if we multiply this thing, that is going to give us 14 times uh, 12 
And now let's go ahead and simplify. So we got x plus 120 on the left hand side. And if we multiply these numbers, that is going to give us 168. Now let's go ahead and subtract 120 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our x value turns out to be 48 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, blue shaded rectangle turns out to be 48 uh, centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.